Hi, thank you for joining me for our summer reading stream program. Today, we're going to make elephant toothpaste and talk about chemical reactions. Let's check it out. You're going to need some active dry yeast as a catalyst. You'll need some hydrogen peroxide, some dish soap, some food coloring, some warm, very warm water, some containers, and a measuring cup so you can measure it out. You'll definitely need a tray so you could contain the mess. So let's take a look. I'm going to use these three containers here. And then for the last one, I'll use this one here. Okay, I have some goggles here just in case. All right. So we'll do half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Before we do anything else, let's mix some yeast here. And we'll mix the yeast with five tablespoons of warm, very warm water. It should have the consistency of melted ice cream. If it's too thick, you want to add a little bit more water. Okay. Okay, so now that we've mixed that, and we have our peroxide in here, I'm just going to move these over. Now, <coughs> you can add some food coloring, whatever color you would like. About eight drops will do. And then we'll add a little bit of soap, dish soap. And mix that around. Swish it around so it mixes. All right. Then we're going to put our headgear on. Then we're going to add the yeast 
which is called a catalyst for this experiment. Whoa! <laughs> That's really cool. You see it looks like toothpaste. That's why it's called elephant toothpaste, because it looks like thick enough for an elephant to brush his teeth with it. It's not, not for putting in your mouth. It's just called elephant toothpaste. That was really cool. All right, we tried one elephant toothpaste. Now let's do two at the same time. We have our yeast here. Sometimes it gets stuck on the spoon. Just have to knock it off. Maybe I'll use this spoon a little bit. Where's my head gear? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Each tiny foam bubble is filled with oxygen. The yeast acts as a catalyst to remove the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide. Since it did this very fast, it created lots and lots of bubbles. If you were able to touch it, you would notice that the bottle got warm. The reason is we created an exothermic reaction, which means it not only created foam, the hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen and heat is given off. All right, we're going to do one more in this straight tube here. So let's mix our yeast. Okay, and then this is half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. So let's just move this over a little. Okay. Pour the peroxide in. Let's see, we haven't done green. 
So we will add green to this one. dish soap. And we'll mix that up. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. <laughs> That's amazing. I hope you all enjoyed making elephant toothpaste with me and talking about chemical reactions. Please sign up for the summer reading program if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye!